Hey, Zach from EC Master here. Today we're unboxing an EMU Classic. So I'm not gonna cover all the features of the device. That's gonna require a longer video, but I at least wanna show you what's in the box. So you get a nice little printed sleeve that has all the basic tech specs on it. And get into the unboxing. Uh, again, the Classic is our entry-level ECU. We've got the EMU Black. It has a few more features. Warranty cards on the top here. So a nice little molded tray that keeps the ECU and the connectors in place during shipping. On the EMU Classic, we got a 24 position black connector, 24 position gray connector. When you install these, latches go to the outside. So it simply goes on here, clicks in. And then we've got our four bar map sensor built in, USB connector back here, and this connector is for uh, serial. So there's a serial output for connecting to a racing dash or any kind of expansion module that we sell. Um, that's what that's for. Nice little CNC machined aluminum case. Pop the USB plug back in here. Pull this tray out here. There's an A to A USB cable for communicating to your PC. There's two different size terminals on the MU Classic. On the outermost row, you've got the larger uh, 2.8 millimeter terminal. The middle terminals are one and a half millimeters. So here's the 2.8, here's the one and a half. And we have four diodes. These are for flyback diodes. So anything that draws a decent amount of current and is pulsed on and off very quickly, like a VVTI solenoid, you'd install this across the positive and negative terminals of that device to suppress the flyback current from that. On the EMU Black, these are internal on most of the auxiliary outputs. On the EMU Classic, you can install these manually, but it's pretty easy to tuck these in the back of a connector underneath some heat shrink and make it very tidy to install. But again, you only need this on something higher current like a VVTI or a Vanos, like variable cam solenoid. And if I can get to the bottom of the box here, there's a laminated pinout card. Uh, if you look at the laminated pinout card, there's two sides. One side shows you the Bosch 4.2 wideband wiring. Um, this ECU is kind of neat. Nothing else in this price range drives an O2 sensor directly. That is included. So the Classic can drive a Bosch 4.2. The EMU Black can drive a Bosch 4.2 or a 4.9. But the Bosch 4.2 sensors are pretty reliable. Uh, again, if you're looking at the wiring here, just it's an image of the device. So use that map sensor port as your reference. So this would be the black connector over here, gray connector on the right. Same on this side. Use that map sensor port in the middle as your reference. So terminal number one is gonna be the top left here. Same on the gray connector, that's pin number one on the top left. On the top all the way to the right, that's pin number eight. And again, bottom right is 24, bottom right is 24. So just be sure you don't wire that backward because there's nothing worse than getting done wiring a whole ECU and realize you're looking at the laminated pinout card backwards. So just be careful to take note of that. Um, again, the Classic is a great little ECU. It's got six injector outputs, six coil outputs. They're high current, so you can drive coils without an igniter, or you can drive smart coils either way. So you can drive up to 12 passive coils with this. Um, you can do up to 12 injectors, you know, two per channel, so you can do a V12. Um, it's really anywhere from one to 12 cylinders, up to two variable cams. Um, you're limited to cable throttle without an expansion module. If you have to buy that, you may as well just buy a black since it does drive by wire built in. But really a, a great affordable ECU that gives you a lot of motorsport features without spending an arm and a leg. Um, that's it. Thanks for watching today.